Next on my trip through shot on video horror movies from the 80s is Killing Spree from Terror Vision. Now there's been a few Terror Vision titles that I have enjoyed. I picked a lot of these up from the Vinegar Syndrome sale and looking at a lot of the releases they've brought out there are quite a few that I would like to enjoy but I'm always a little bit worried, a little bit trepidatious jumping into some of these shot on video films because sometimes they're for me, sometimes they're not. Killing Spree, directed by Tim Ritter, released in 1987, is one that is definitely for me. I had a great deal of fun with this movie. Um, rather surprisingly, you get a main character of Tom, a man who is married, is settled down, is trying to make ends meet, who works for a, a, an airplane company fixing plane engines, and who finds out that his salary is being cut. He's also rather worried about his wife. He feels that she is maybe giving attention to other people. He finds a diary that alludes to all these sexual shenanigans and decides to take vengeance against the people that have been wronging him and writing his wife at the same time. And it becomes... Uh, pretty terrific. Uh, Asbestos Felt is the, the main actor and I've got to say he is wonderful through this. He just looks crazed at the start of it but as the movie goes on you really see that kind of unhinged performance come through. <laughs> you screw my wife! I screw dry your head! <laughs> now, when it gets to the kind of blood and guts of it you can tell it's low budget but it's really going for it. And it's that energy and enthusiasm that really just imbues this film with a hell of a lot of fun. And that's what I really latched on to. The performances, the silliness, the enthusiasm behind the production, which really made it one of the more entertaining shot on video films I have seen. I feel that um, Tom is a character is really interesting. I like to his warped sensibilities and how he tried to punish uh, the purveyors of wrong in his eyes by killing them that seems fitting to why they were at his house in the first place. So look, we get an electrical engineer gets um, cut up in a fun way. A guy that does the garden gets chopped up in a fun way. It kind of leads into these kind of, I, I don't want to spoil them for you, but it leads into these fun deaths that are quite inventive, quite silly and highly entertaining. I really enjoyed Killing Spree for what it was, an enthusiastic slasher movie tinged with a little bit of supernatural elements. <laughs> I will say tinged with a bit of supernatural elements because there is a moment, uh, a sequence at the end, maybe 10, 12 minutes in length, where something supernatural very definitely does happen. Or it leans into that. Uh, and, and it was kind of there that I started to lose a little bit because I didn't feel that belonged in the movie. But I think when you stand back and look at it, you realise that maybe that wasn't going on. Maybe it was all in Tom's head. Maybe he really was a more damaged individual than we first thought. I would strongly say... Su I would strongly suggest picking up Killing Spree. I had a whale of a time with it. It uh, is a little bit rough around the edges, but once you accept that, once you move on with the characters, you get lost in the story and that absolutely terrific main performance... I think the movie really gathers from Steen, really draws you in. It takes a little bit of time just building up to that fun moment and then once it gets you and it's grasp, it never lets go. That's a wonderful thing. This is a great release from Terrorvision, one that I would strongly recommend picking up. I think it's a hell of a lot of fun. One of the best shot on video films I've seen and one that I would definitely go back and check out again. I'd love to know your thoughts on Killing Spree. Let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, are quite curious about checking it out. Never want to hear about this one ever again. I want your opinion on that. 
As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to the Patreon, membership program, and the manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.